Hi YouTube, this is just a quick review on the latest release Manjaro Linux 15.12 that's recently come out this December time. Now as a bit of a background on the release, Manjaro is an ARC based Linux distribution that mostly takes advantage of a rolling release update model. So when I said a moment ago that uh, we've got the latest release 15.12, the 15.12 really stands for more of a milestone or a snapshot in releases. Of course you can update it on the spot all the time, uh, a little bit different to say Ubuntu or Mint where you have to update a lot of packages at once. So rolling release update model there. Okay, so starting off, let's have a little bit of a look. I have opened up a few windows a little bit earlier before. Now, you can see, or you might be able to notice, I'm running the KDE Plasma desktop environment uh, currently at 5.51. So there's it. there appears to be, I suppose, two main desktop environments used with Manjaro, both KDE and XFCE, although you, there are community-based uh, versions such as Cinnamon and a few of the other ones as well. Now the file manager in KDE, of course, as you can see, is Dolphin, which is sort of the de facto standard for KDE anyway, KDE anyway so I don't really have to get into that too much. The Linux kernel is uh, quite up to date, which is good to see. You'll see it actually there, popped up on the screen already, 4.1. The latest kernel release is 4.2 or 4.3, but I like how Manjaro are sort of keeping it fairly up to date uh, so a little bit similar to I suppose Ubuntu but not so much Linux Mint so that's good to see keeping it like that uh, fairly recent. Uh, the architectures you can use to actually download uh, or actually download run and install this version of Linux is 32 and 64 bit architectures so you can run it on an old PC if you like but if you do I'd probably recommend using the XFCE desktop environment instead of the resource heavy uh, KDE environment that you can see at the moment. Now regarding software, you're going to find all the all the normal stuff, all, a lot of the KDE stuff, right? the, the stuff that starts with the letter K, uh, but uh, on top of that the Office suite you'll find is LibreOffice in here, somewhere here, let's have a look, LibreOffice, but also uh, the probably the main web browser of course you can see there as well is Firefox. So there's nothing you can install, uh, can't install or can't uninstall, so I never get too much into uh, software with some of these reviews anyway. Uh, let's see, so uh, the typical usage or design for this laptop is mostly desktop. I, most people probably wouldn't be using it for, for servers, but uh, obviously that's still well within the realm of capability for any lin Linux distro anyway, so that's not really a problem there. Now the update method used is uh, the Arc-based update method, which is Pac-Man. So you may not have heard of that as much, but if you'd like to install something, you just open up the terminal and type in sudo. Pac-Man. Bear with me, I haven't touched Arc in a while. Uh, S, and let's just choose something at random. Let's say the image application GIMP. There we go. Just throw in my password. Oop. Ah, Pac Mac. Just switch that up a little bit. And this should work. Yeah, there we go. Would you like to install? So uh, you can uninstall with a similar clause, which is R, I believe, instead of S. So R is remove, S is for. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, no idea actually. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So overall, it's a uh, it's pretty cool distro. I really like the themes. Uh, I like the the KDE themed environment. I love the green. Uh, but uh, aside from colors, it does seem like uh, I think it's going for a simple but effective sort of standpoint as a Linux distribution. It doesn't actually seem overly resource heavy, which I'm quite proud of, just for the fact that this is running on a virtual machine at the moment, and I've only got one CPU running with 1.5 gigabytes, and I don't see a lot of slowdown, even with the HUD. So type something to search, type whatever, let's say kinfo, and there it is, pops right up. It was already up, so it looks like it's gone. But uh, there we go. Uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this little, minuscule, tiny review. Cheers.